I've heard stranger things. <laughs> Welcome to a new To Be Honest music review. I'm your host, Cole, and today we're going to be talking about the new Young the Young Giant, Giant album, album Home, Home of the of Strange. The Strange. <laughs> so Home of the Strange is basically an album about the immigration history of the band and their identity in America. Sort of like a concept album, if you would like to say, I guess. Now, some history with Young the Giant. I have been listening to them ever since their first album really came out with the song My Body and Apartment and God Made Men being really great songs, in my opinion. And Mind Over Matter, the album, was it was okay. More synth-heavy and... I wasn't really into it at the time, and I tried listening to it again, it's it's okay. But going into this nice and fresh, haven't been really listening to Young the Giant for like ever, so here we go! The first track on this album is America, which is based off of a book, basically, that was never released, which is pretty cool, and the song basically is about finding something special in life, and why in why people basically use you or why they use him specifically what i like about this song is mostly the synths and the drums really not sound really nice they clash well together just good song and you got the more guitar and drum heavy something to believe in the song is basically a motivational song and basically says that even if people tell you your destiny that you should do what you believe in and don't let anyone stop you and I love that I love that stuff and that's why I love listening to this song and also the vocal delivery is awesome it's nice and bluesy at times and rocky it's just oh I love it then you got the song elsewhere which is like an 80s vibe song because it's like on the dance floor ho, ho. the song is basically about him uh, not wanting this girl back like the same way the girl wants him in the like a love interest He's like nah, I'm just here to have fun and I'm not really into that It's really nice and piano focused and drum focused. It's really nice. The instrumental is really good I lyrically it's not that appealing to me, but instrumentally eh, it's okay Then you got the song mr. Know-it-all and let me guess what this song's about yeah, he's basically a know-it-all to this girl, and he likes her a lot. I think that's why he's a know-it-all, and he basically messes up that chance. Sorry, dude, you should have acted like a smartass. <laughs> but no, it's it's sad. It, he, sh yeah, he just needs advice, I guess. And he got the song Jungle Youth, which is basically a more heavier song than what I'm basically used to listening to Young the Giant. And, uh, it's, it's an okay song, it's not the greatest ever, but it does the job, and, uh, I do like his vocal delivery, I just, instrumentally, mm, it's just didn't really catch my ear as much as the rest of the tunes on this album, but, uh, I mean, the song is about him basically in his youth and everything, and eh, it's okay. Then you got the next song. Titus was born, and this is a great track. It has a nice piano layer to it, nice acoustic focused at the beginning, and really paints this really nice picture of you being on this island and witnessing Titus being born almost. And then it kind of shifts into more guitar heavy and drum focused and synths. And everything just goes, it just goes, and it's it's good, it's good. I prefer the first half of this song a little more, but I love it all as a whole too. Then you got another acoustic focus song, which is Repeat, and basically it's a song just living in the moment. Good good stuff, right? Then you got the song Silver Tongue, which is another favorite of mine. It's really groovy, you should say, with the guitar going... <laughs> kind of like an 80s kind of vibe to it, which I can't complain. I always say, oh, I love the 80s. Basically, this song is saying, yeah, he has a silver tongue. He's going to get with your girl, bro. He's going to get with her. Just smooth with that wordplay and 
yeah, he's basically gonna get in bed with her. Just, just run, just run. Then we got my favorite song on the album. What could it be? That song is Art Exhibit, and there's specific reasons why. Lyrically, I love this lyric, lyric <laughs> the lyrics in this song a, a lot. Like, love it. Um, the song is about uh, basically the main character of the song picturing in his mind uh, this girl that he has been in love with and basically it's a memory and he he just like he gets really like sad when he thinks of it because he loves her so much and a lyric that really caught my attention in this song is the genius of pain and I don't know I just loved it I loved it, that lyric in that song it just made sense to me I don't know, just got a little teary. What I really love about this song is the ukulele. Like, oh, I didn't expect that from them, and I loved it. His voice really meshed well with it. And I'm like, yes, yes, more, more ukulele. And we got the song, Nothing Is Over. What really caught my attention in the song is that nice, heavy synth opening. And then he's just like this really confident delivery, and it's just like, yeah, go, just keep going. Oh, what, what were you doing? Yeah, the song totally changes directions on you, and you're like, what? You were going in this weird, wonky way, and now you're just doing an usual song that you do. I mean, it does have a little bit of a hip-hop vibe to it, so to speak, but I was kind of disappointed with this track. But at the same time, I do like it a lot, and I do appreciate like being thrown off like that then we end the album on home of the strange which kind of is a gathering of all the material within the album and like picking a song out of it almost uh it's like a two minute song it's good in its own right and it's a good closer i think overall i really did enjoy this album i definitely enjoyed it more than mind over matter i wouldn't say it's as good as the first young the giant album I'm a really big fan of that one. But it does feel like in this album, he kind of, like, the band infuses what they learned from Mind Over Matter and with their first album and kind of mesh them together really well, actually. And I give him props for that. So overall, I'd give this album a 4.5 out of 5. I feel like there's some tracks that I enjoyed a lot, and there's some that were just, like, kind of meh if, if I... One, I, I probably wouldn't listen to some of these tracks, but like five specific, specific tracks I would definitely listen to. Plus, this album wasn't strange at all. I think that's not what it was trying to imply, though, but <laughs> I was hoping for some strangeness. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I really enjoyed making it. I've been working on it like all day, basically. And, uh, yeah. And I hope you enjoyed the album too i definitely recommend you listen to it these guys need some love seriously uh well and anyways what was your favorite track on this album or what's your favorite young the giant album have a good day and i know that was really random and weird but peace Demon.